Hello friends, I welcome you all to .NET Tech's Amazon Web Services course. Today, in this particular uh, video, we will uh, going to understand how a uh, load balancer works, an elastic load balancer works, what are its types, and how we can configure it on our EC2 instance. This particular uh, demonstration part we are going to run on live AWS console as we are doing in all our video and uh, uh, we are going to see uh, the functionality part and in what situations which kind of particular load balancer you should use uh, there are variety of load balancer offered by AWS we are going to see first in order to see the a functionality of a load balancer we first need to launch an web server a web server so today uh, we are going to launch an EC2 instance with uh, Linux AMI because it is easy and uh, less time consuming to set up and uh, uh, this particular demonstration uh, can get over in less, less uh, least possible time using uh, a li uh, Linux uh, a web server, Linux based web server. So right now, uh, I hope this is very much, uh, uh, I think I just moved too fast. So I just, let me go back again so this is the ec2 instance we can go to it by this menu also so here we have this ec2 um, right now i'm going to show you in singapore region so in singapore there are three availability zones uh, everything looks green nice and tidy so let's go and click on launch ec2 instance and i'll select an linux based EM ami uh, now in AMI, uh, I'm going to choose T2 Micro, which is a free tier eligible. And uh, everything else will remain as the default value. So just no need to look into this. It's as same old uh, screen as you were looking at pre previously. Uh, just I'll tag it. I'll give it a tag by which it is easily identifiable. Test. ELB elastic load balancer uh, just the name now I'll go to the security group I do have a variety of uh, pre-configured security groups uh, but I can uh, let's create a new one or let me choose uh, from the default section also I can choose or I can create also so whatever is the case um, let let me uh, let me give it a name web DMC okay um, yeah we can SSH into it let me give it um, functionality to interact with the internet I'll keep SSH to my IP so that I'll only able to do the SSH into it now click review and launch the review screen and click launch it will ask for the key pair I'll go, I'll go, I'm going to create a new key pair here and give it a test ELB name I'll download it after download only you will see this getting uh, activated i hope you remember that for getting connected to a linux server via windows machine i am using a windows machine i need to use a party client i'll see my my instance here Okay, so public IP is assigned to it. Let it get ready. Okay, 
so i need to uh, create a let me bring on uh, the partition so that i can create a compatible ppk key from the spam file I'll give it a same name test tlb dot ppk <clears throat> so let me save it it got saved now to ssh into I need to uh, open the putty client I'll put this IP 13.250.3.161 which is a public IP I'll browse and have this private key with me for the appearance purpose I'll just increase the size so that you'll be able to see clearly what all commands I'm running So let's let me go ahead and click open it actually appeared on my second screen I am using two screen for the presentation purpose let me bring it here so it is asking me to log in the default username is ec2 user ec2 dash user so now it's been authenticated now the first thing what I am going I am trying to do here I am trying to first create it a, a web server on which our load balancer will uh, will mo uh, carry out their monitoring part okay so in order to create it and make it a web server right now if i go ahead and try to uh, just try to open the this public ip by via which we got connected we did ssh if i open it it will uh, the site can't be reached because there is no server web server hosting any web page right now on this first thing the web server is not there and uh, there is no when web server is not there then there is no web page also to display so first I need to install a web server I just update it first these are some commands for Linux machine no package it's already updated that's a good thing so let me clear this screen now I'll install a web server Apache for Apache we use HTTPD sudo yum install HTTPD I guess we don't need to use sudo since we are in root account mode okay so very fast pretty neat and simple okay now let me create a web page here okay I'll create a web page uh, index.html here alright so this is uh, a very small uh, very basic web page that I am building up here 
control x y that's it so if you ls you will see index.html if i uh, if i go and uh, now if i just refresh this page i guess the service is not running right now just give me a moment let me clear the screen here okay so we need to first start the service that part we forgot actually okay now we will check the services status it's all up and running great all right let me let me go ahead and see try to refresh this page now and you will see uh, our web page is up and running here now apart from this script we will also uh, we need to also have we should also have a health check script here in the same uh, folder so right now there is only one index.html we will create a script here this instance is healthy and we want to give it a name healthcheck.html so, so if i see now we have two one healthcheck uh, html file and one index.html now i'll go to the console page and uh, try to understand what is uh, now uh, let me let me break this video up here in the next video i'll explain you how we are going to use how we'll uh, configure and uh, load balancer on this instance all right